All right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? All right. So this is a BRICS update. B-R-I-C-A-S. I'm sorry. So it's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. They're the main players in this. Those of you that are in the know, okay, that you know that these countries are getting together and they want to form their own economy where they can work amongst each other and they want to form their own cryptocurrencies. This has been something that's been going on for a while, you know, with the development of things like Bitcoin and uh, Litecoin and Ethereum here in America. China has got its own version, okay? Actually, China is has a, their, a coin that where they can actually start trading with amongst their own countries. So they have their own little version of, you know, their New text message from uh, plus one, one. eight four four five two zero zero seven one eight. Okay, that they have their own one in a cryptocurrency form. I started getting text messages at the time that I want to start making videos. So, um, so there was 19 countries when I guess they these these main countries want to decide they want to uh, form and make these this coin. Now the new update they're up to like 41 countries now, and they're probably still going to be more countries that's going to be or going to try to apply. Okay, to try to get into the, you know, getting in the pot themselves. Because they want to get away from the dollar. Okay. And I have to agree. You know, I had a conversation about this with a couple other people. Uh, today, actually, this, yeah, this morning and a few days ago. That it doesn't really make any sense. Particularly like China. They've always had a strong economy. Okay, they they got everything over there. They got oil, gold, uh, their uh, fishing and produce. Okay, livestock. You know, okay, they've had all that since the beginning of the time. They got rivers that fly through there, uh, form through there. Okay, people have been trading. They've been trading with the Middle East for many many centuries, uh, long before the Americas, you know, became in prominence. Russia. Uh, Africa, South Africa, Uganda, okay, those countries. I mean, they have more mineral uh, minerals and uh, raw materials out there in Africa than anywhere. Iran, okay, the largest oil field in the world. I thought Texas was, but it's actually Iran. So it doesn't make any sense at all for those countries to make their own product and trade in the American dollar, in American dollars, I mean, I have to agree. Okay, so they want to, and they're very, very serious about getting away from that. Now, I've heard tales about the summertime. Now it's got backed up. Oh, uh, what is it? Bumped up to twenty twenty four sometime. Okay. Uh, let's see how this thing goes. Right, because it's going to be, and I'm not going to back down away from it. Very hard to get away from the dollar. I do believe a butt chunk is going to be taken out of the dollar. Okay, but see, the thing with the dollar is, all right, you got hundreds of company uh, countries out there. I understand, like what, uh, over five, well over 500 countries. Okay, and with the trust in the dollar and with the U.S. prominence actually in all these different countries with the military and all that, anywhere where they're going to have an embassy at, there's going to be some type of presence within the dollar in some kind of way. And the U.S. got an embassy in almost every country, okay? Or they could be tied in with Britain and have the dollar uh, tied in with, with Britain. It's been like that for like the last like 80 years, Okay. Or hand it was the pound. And 
And uh, I think that, again, it'll happen, but this is not going to be as easy as what you think that's going to happen because they have what they call an international, I learned this today, financial committee, right? And what they, America can do, okay, because they're frowning upon this because that's going to bite into that economic system. The coin will make the, the dollar uh, worthless and uh, more worthless and have less spending power and it's going to cause inflation, hyperinflation. And just so you know, the BRICS coin is going to be backed by gold, okay? So it's going to be a very strong currency, okay? So what America can do is they'll start, start playing little games with the uh, things like NATO and the international, uh, this, this financial commission that I just told you about. And start causing like sanctions. They could do stuff like freeze uh, Chinese or the Russian accounts because those are the two countries that are mainly involved with it because they have I understand like 40, about 35, 40% of the population. With all 41 countries, it's like half the population, a little bit under that. Okay? They could start, like I said, they could freeze those accounts. They call offshore, okay, uh, accounts that they have with the U.S. so they can't be able to access their money, okay? The gold, the money, all right? Actually, what went on right now is because Russia invaded Ukraine, is and I knew about this before, but I didn't know about the impact that it caused. U.S. had froze uh, many of the Russian investors' accounts, so what it did was it made it very hard for the Russian people to, you know, to make their pay their bills and all that, the, the, the government and all that. And you have some of those rich people are trying to leave the country right now as we speak, okay? Or they've done that over the last, I don't know, year or so when they invaded the Ukraine a little over a year ago. This is Russia when I say they. All right. But with these countries forming and trying to band together, it'll be a better stabilization of the countries. And, you know, I just think that a lot of the smaller countries, they're probably sick of you, the U.S., pushing and bullying around these young, uh, smaller countries and they want to form with these bigger countries, not just to get away from the dollar, but to get away from from the threat, uh, the threat. OK, and maybe give an opportunity to, to have a better economy of their own. And a lot of this is political now. I don't think it's really about the economy, be it the U.S. or overseas. All right. And what could happen is not only, but this is just mainly like a war, the sanctions, all right? But what could happen in this BRICS is somebody could come up short and one of these larger company, uh, countries that can take over the smaller countries anyway, all right? You see what happened when the Romans, they sucked up all those countries out there in the mid, well, what is now the Middle East and all that, okay? With those uh, kings, even in the biblical day, days, bad business practices, messing around with like with the Persian and Ethiopian women, people like Solomon and all that. Okay, because I am somewhat biblically inclined. That's what eventually like happened, okay? With the Romans. They became uh those countries uh, became provisional under Greece and then the uh, Romans they just end up taking over. All right. So I mean th this could be something that could end up imploding. But I, I just think that it's gonna be very, very difficult. This thing is not going to happen the way that they think the, the, the bricks is going to, it, uh, but I think that it will somewhat happen to what form, I don't know. So we need to prepare, all right? Uh, but I don't think the dollar is going nowhere, not in our lifetime, all right? It's if you're my age, you got one gray hair or bald hair, uh, bald, you know, spot in your head, head. okay? Uh, I believe that the dollar is going to have a pre uh, presence. What will happen, I think, with the dollar here, probably by the end of the decade in closing, is they're going to make a Fed coin. It's still going to be the dollar, but in a, in a coin to where they can be able to track all spending and they can cut it off. And they're going to have to back up the, the, the dollar by that, that crypto by gold. They're going to have to do that they, to stop hyperinflation. So prepare. All right. Do what you got to do to save money, food and water and stuff like that. Okay. 
and saw and prayed and did praise. So let me know what you think about the video. I went over my time. I got to concentrate on the road and peace.